Hey everyone, Patrick Flanagan here, coming at you from my hotel room in North Haven, Connecticut, where I am out visiting my great sponsor and good friends, Mossberg Firearms. We just got done filming a couple segments for Gun and Gear television, so check those out. That'll be coming up uh, probably this fall. Um, and I'm showcasing the, the Mossberg 930 and Mossberg 500. Um, on a side note, something I wanted to talk to you about is I get a ton, a ton of requests from all of you to start doing some shooting tips, but shooting tips that are geared specifically to extreme sport shooting, and also requests to share with you all um, some advice on how maybe to create your own extreme sport shooting show get sponsors and do something similar to what I do in my profession. So I've taken all your messages to heart. I've put um, quite a bit down already on paper and I will start delivering those clips probably in the upcoming weeks uh, to a month. We'll start off with the basics and I will start off teaching you some basic ways to start shooting clay targets and different objects from a lot of different shooting mounts. But again, we're going to start with the basics, and it comes down to just that. You need to learn the basics of shooting, the safety of shooting, and don't be afraid of the word failure. You're going to miss a lot of targets, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, you're going to get discouraged, um, as we all did, and as I still do, but it's those of, us that, those of us that choose to keep fighting, stay in there, and keep pushing, practicing, and challenging ourselves you will be the ones that make it to the next level, uh, the world-class level, and find yourself with sponsorships doing all sorts of fun things uh, that I enjoy. So stay tuned. I'm going to work on that all. I'm going to make it very serious. I'm going to take it very serious. I'm taking it very serious, so I'm going to do the best job on it as I can. I'm not going to hire out a fancy production crew to do this stuff. Uh, I'm going to do it with just myself, my video camera, and probably even my wife as the videographer. Uh, because these, again, will be great tips, um, but we'll do them uh, as costly as possible. So stay tuned for those right here, Patrick Planning Extreme Team Video Blog, or go over to my webpage, PatrickClanning.com, and you'll see those up very soon. Toodles. I'm cursing when I got down. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Um, okay. Oh, it's so, booked out. I forgot. All right. Do I have your permission to be on my Extreme Team video blog on Facebook? No. Okay. Yeah, fine. Cut. Well, I'm currently in the process of making a how-to, I guess you could say, uh, DVD and video, which will probably be a series of short clips going up on the internet for how to be an extreme sports shooter. Some of the tips, some of the tricks, some of the things that go into doing it. Um, so here's one of the first ones. Um, eating. You've got to be able to eat well while you're on the road. Here are some things I like to eat and would suggest for you to have while on the road. First, coffee. Preferably a quad venti, iced venti latte. Quad meaning it's got four shots of espresso, lots of caffeine, very good for traveling. Secondly, making it healthy, edamame, soybeans. Very good, very healthy. Thirdly, Kaneko salad. I don't know. 
Fourthly, octopus salad. It is what it sounds like. Heavenly. And then you gotta back it up with all sorts of crazy sushi rolls that you don't even know what the names are. They just look like fun, so you order them up. And this is pretty much it. This is my diet. This is my this is my meal plan. This right here is about, I don't know, probably a lot of calories, but I'm getting a ton of omega-3, 6, and 9. I can promise you that. So first tip on how to be an extreme sports shooter. Drink and eat like one. Drink coffee, water, and eat sushi and you are on your way fast to being an extreme sport shooter. Awesome.